Hi, welcome to Glitter University. Today we're going to cover an outdoor glittered sculpture. Um, we found this rusted uh, metal uh, welded flower that was, it was very rusted. And so I took Rust-Oleum um, Rust Reformer, which is a black spray paint, and it actually um, neutralizes rust. It's really quite special. And uh, so I went ahead and spray painted this piece. And then um, over the black, I went ahead and painted. And the reason I paint is because it, you use less glitter when you base coat the same color. And so I actually am in this case doing a, a, a fairly decent job of painting the sculpture and then I'll be doing glitter over the top. And uh, so I've just finished the leaves and now I'm doing the flowers and each stem of the flower is a different color. No, of course that's not realistic, but uh, it'll make it more fun. So there'll be four different colors. I think I did pink and uh, purple, yellow and, and then kind of an aqua. And so we're ready to roll. We're now outside and ready to go. We're going to use clear guard, which is a lacquer. Um, I like it because it's extremely clear. It's also really, really good in the elements. And I'm going to go ahead and mix it with either Perlex or Alumalite, which I'm not showing to you. Um, that's Perlex right there. And what I'm going to do is in each case, I'm going to go ahead and take some of the Perlex or the Alumalite. I'm going to put it into a cup and then I'm going to mix glitter in with it. And so when, uh, like, for example, I'm going to start on the yellow flower. I'm going to go ahead and put kind of a orangey yellow uh, mica powder in there. And then I'm going to mix gold. Uh, and I believe there's one that's uh, slightly, what is it? Yeah, it's slightly um, peachy. So those two colors will go in there with the um, mica powder. And then I'm going to throw some lacquer in. I'm going to give it a really good stir and uh, I'll be brushing it directly onto it with a, you know, a bristle brush. And I'll repeat that for all four colors. Um, so I, in the next case, I'll, I'll take like a lavender, um, I believe I actually take a lavender mica powder and then I mix it with, you know, purple glitters. And then the next one uh, for the blue, I actually take an alumalite and then I mix it with blue glitters. And in both cases, I'm actually all four cases, I mix a chunky and, and an ultra fine. Uh, and sometimes in a couple cases, I think I actually chose two ultra fines and a chunky. And I like to mix the flake sizes because this is going to be viewed from the street, but it's also going to be viewed from a walkway. And when you're at the street, you're going to see it from about 10 feet. But when you're on a walkway, you're going to see it from about two feet. So it's really nice to get those chunky flakes in there so that you're really dazzled from 10 feet away. But you're also seeing a really nice, uh, you know, look from up close as well. So that's why I like to mix the chunky and the ultra fine. Um, yeah, under the tent, that's not super dramatic, but you'll see it in the sunlight later. It's very, very pretty. Um, and that wonderful mica powder and alumalite in this case uh, is just, you know, great. That, that what I just held up is actually an iridescent mica powder and that will give the, the I'm doing the leaves now that will give the leaves like an overall beautiful shine and I'm going to be mixing in a couple uh, glitters one chunky one ultra fine in with three different powders two alumalites and one uh, of the mica powders and the reason why I want to do so many is I, I really want to have a very dynamic mix of colors here on these leaves um, and I'm using actually three glitters in this case and one of them is being a holographic so it, it should, when the that sunlight hits it, it should be really, really, really beautiful. You uh, can see it's kind of a light color because the leaves themselves are dark. So this is going to be more like an accent. And I'm not covering every surface. I'm um, actually kind of going for a painterly look on these leaves. And it's going to be really nice. It's going to catch the light beautifully, um, having that sort of, you know, accent over the top. And that's another reason why I love to paint. You just don't, you just don't have to work as hard with the glitter. And here you can see it in the light. It's still a little bit wet. But it's really, really, really sparkly. So let's go ahead and get this installed and we'll take some pics.